have on Connor Race, welcome to another video. Ooh, part of this. Yes. Two and duh. Of the S2K wide arch. It is. Mm. We cut them out as you saw in the previous video. It is now a Sunday morning. Camera's being weird. Just turned itself mm. off for no reason at all. Doesn't like Sunday to camera. Doesn't. Doesn't like Sunday. It's a lazy Sunday. So, we've got Mark and Mark down here on a Sunday doing his thing. So as you saw in the previous video, we cut them all out with grinder and all that malarkey, malarkey, malarkey loo. So today, we are, well I say we, Mark is, there he is there, say hi Mark. What? What? So what he's what? doing is, he's already done the other side, but we won't show you that later. We'll, we'll, we'll show you that later. So he's going to weld all along the here, to make it all lovely. And it's basically just to stop this, because there's a lot of flex in there, look, as you can see. Stops the flex in and it seals up the gap. And then what I'm going to do is afterwards, is where these gaps are. Ah, seems to see a little under one. there. Yeah, shush. <laughs> I'm a bit wrong that. Seems to see I'll sort that out, mate. Um, it won't bend because it's so thick there. It's fine, Mark. Seems to see I'll sort that out. I'm a good plasterer. Throw <laughs> 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 it on there, boy. Well, yeah, literally going to throw it on there. So, yeah, he's just trimming these back. And he's going to weld it all the way along, and we're fucking, we're laughing. So, yeah, it's, it's, I would have had a go it's that it. easy. I would have had a go, but I'm not you know, all that good with a welder. Oh, I've never done it. So I want to learn, though. I've done little bits on the exhaust. I like to get some just and like, like random up. bits of pipe and stuff. I've done a little bit on my premier exhaust and stuff like that, don't I? But I'm not like, when it comes to this type of stuff, I don't really want to touch that. Fucking I ain't any good at fucking welding. Oh, well, now he yeah. tells us. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, well, now he tells us. So. Yeah, this is the welder, look, all set up, ready to rock and roll. I don't know what type of welder it is. So, um, is it a MIG welder? It's a, it's a MIG welder, yes. Or a TIG welder? A MIG welder? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get some uh, we'll get some nice shots of Mark doing his thing. And then, uh, once he's welded it up, we will... Whoa, that was close. Get some shots of it. Uh, been seam sealed up and stuff. I'm gonna, before I seam seal it, I'm gonna get some primer. What I'll wire wheel it back underneath a bit on the fins, and then uh, we'll mask it up, give it a bit of primer first, obviously, to just cover all the bare yeah, metal. You, you might as well do it what they said. I just saw in the previous video we done with the built hamber, yeah, uh, rust exactly. treatment around it, and all that type And of stuff. obviously, you don't want bare metal, like all the edges will be bare metal and stuff like that, so you want to prime them all up to stop it rusting, basically. All right. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll check back in. We'll get some nice little cinematic shots of the welding and stuff like that. And once it's welded, get the seagulls outside. I don't like this you know lack of confidence because so. he's done the other side and it's absolutely fine. Is you going to cue this one? I'll cue this one. Yeah. So what we're going to do is cue cinematics. side so I bust the car up obviously and I was gonna grind all this back I was gonna grind all this back but I can't really be bothered and it's such a thin weld yeah that I'm just gonna leave it I think and you can't fucking see it here so I've just put some of this on acid etch primer Raptor got this from your car parts I think it was 
which is like a rust protector primer. It's not cheap, but it's worth doing. Uh, yeah, so I've primed all that. I'm going to give it one more coat of primer. I've done two. And then I'm going to seam seal all these little gaps just to stop the shit getting up inside, obviously. And down here, those tiny little gaps in there. That's about it, really. Oh, I just picked up the fireworks. Let's see how Mark's getting on, shall we? He's, he's cracking on, look here. Chris, Chris fucked that bit up. Fuck off mate, I never even touched it. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch grinders. Only on my own car. Apart from the gay website, it's the only grinder Chris does. <laughs> so yeah, fuck it. So we'll do, let's mark him out his face there. We'll do the same on that side. The wire wheel it, wire wheel it all back. Prime it. Stick the old seam sealer in there. And then, we're fucking, are, we're good. Are you going to put your arches on? Wheels on and drop it. I might do. I don't know. Just have a little look. Yeah, so we might. Yeah, we'll put. We'll stick stick the rear wheels on. I think, and we'll have a look at fitment. And then I've got to sort these out a bit better. They're not bolted on at the minute. They're just loose. But I need to just finesse them a little bit uh, and cut out the side indicators here somewhere but I don't think I'm gonna film any of that get it all pucker and then uh, it'll be ready to go off to the paint shop to get painted and then I need you to get the front tires ordered I gotta wait three weeks for them because they've got to be on order on a boat from fucking Taiwan or somewhere um, yeah and then we can actually get the fronts on and the rears on and start dialing in the suspension and stuff like that, which I might do before we go to paint. And then we're fucking, we're nearly there. And then I can get the front bumper on, which is very exciting. Hi. Any butt crack today? No, none of it. Fuck it out. What's going on? Because I lost weight, mate. Have you? Oh, look, let's introduce a new friend we've got from the back. You do, take your bag of sweets out of your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, my elder sister Claire, watches this channel. Hi, sister. And uh, my oh, nephew, yeah. Nick, well, give me this one look, for my birthday for the one. unit. Look. Lovely, isn't it? It's sweet as a nut. Lovely. I don't know where we're going to put them. I don't know where to put them up there, standing up on that thing with the TIE fighter. It might fall off onto a car. Nice, mate. Thank you, Mark. Mark. That'll do both. We'll tidy that up and fucking handsome. Get it all primed up. Like I said, as long as it stops the flexing, that's really all it's for, because we can seam seal all the... Uh, yeah, and you're never ever going to see that. Nah, that's fine, mate. That's fucking handsome, bud. Lovely, bloody, jubbly. Yeah, Chris has got his polisher down here now as well, so in a couple of weeks we're going to start cracking on with that fucking swell city over there. I might get a couple more lights as well before we start doing stuff like that. At least we can put it here. If we put a light up there... Yeah. And a light up there, and then we've got four lights in like a square shining right over the top right. of whatever parts here. This is, I reckon this is going to be the <coughs> mm. So actually, anybody from Maguire's <laughs> who watch our channel, <clears throat> if you were to send us some sort of like Maguire's flag or, or something like that for the background while we're detailing the car, that would be very, very helpful. Well, it? And it's, it's a bit not free advertising. It's not going to happen. What? <laughs> How do you know it's not going to happen? Yeah, just, that, we're too small. But we are, but we are using Maguire's products. We are. And they so. look amazing. They look amazing. They look amazing. So, we're getting there, guys and girls. We're bloody getting there. Yeah, I've got this right up here, look. But I'll trowel some seam sealer in there. So we'll give this a fucking clean up. Do the same as we've done on the other side. Look at them coil overs, look. Yeah, be fucking going. Cool, that seat's warm. Yeah. Oh my god. Right, so this side is done. Right, well, no, I've got to do a couple more coats of primer, which I'll do in a sec. With Chrissy, I've trusted Chrissy with this. She reckons she's the best dry liner in South Devon. <laughs> Shut up. Is applying a bit of the old seam. See, look at that, look. Oh, baby. Nice, man. 
So yeah, we're just going to see. So it's uh, built hammer seam seal. There is the Dynax seam. Good stuff. I used it in my boot. Welded a plate in my boot with it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll seal all, all the holes with that. I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. It takes quite a while to go off that stuff, I think. I'll read the tin in a minute, but I think it's at least 24 hours. At least. But yeah, we'll get in there. We'll get in there, guys and girls. We'll come back in a secondo when we've got them all seam sealed up. Right, the peeps. Chrissy's been seam sealing. Look at this, look. Look at this for professionalism. Look at that, eh? You wouldn't even know we've been there. Fucking decent, that, mate. Doesn't have to be super neat, obviously. You're never going to bloody see it, but it's always... Oh, oh, if I don't do it neat... It's always nice to... If I don't do it neat, it's going to bug him, so... This side is a bit more difficult. We're a bit rougher on this side, aren't we? I was cutting it out. I went a bit too wide. Yeah, oh, we, we're using some trim tools as trowels. <laughs> <laughs> That's the job, mate. That's the job. Mm. Like I said, all it, all it is is just so that it fills them little gaps where we cut the fins out to stop the shit getting in there and the weather and the water and all that crap. So that's all it's for, really, yeah. So this side is done. So I might take the all the masking stuff off now bolt the arch on and then uh, we might get the rear wheels on I think drop it and see how it sits without adjusting any suspension any camber I'm hoping fingers crossed that the camber is going to be alright because it's naturally cambered anyway uh, like a 1.5 degrees so uh, we'll see if not there is there is a an element of adjustment on the camber from factory which is decent I'm not too sure on the front there actually um, but yeah so We'll come back to you in a secondo. Right, the wheels are on. And yeah, a bit of titivating as always, still to do, but we just wanted to get the wheels on because I just wanted to see how stupidly wide they were and whether they actually fitted or not. Fit or not. And they fit and they are stupidly wide, which is amazing. Look at this. I don't know about that one. Boom! <laughs> Look at the size of it! It's hard to see. But yeah. Mental. Fitment here, as you can see, you can't even see the wheel really there, which is perfect. Look at the beast, look at you! Insane. So yeah, you can see that they're naturally cambered already, can't you? Yeah. Slightly. I think um, it's enough. I don't think I need to camber it anymore. No, no. I think you're right. But they're fucking huge. Yeah. But like I said earlier, we're going to need to dial in the suspension a bit better. I'm going to drop it for maybe another 15 mil, I think, because it's just too well, high. I think so. But it's like you said, you've got to be careful, it's here, and yeah. that's where you need to watch. But, but what I'm going to do is drop enough. it 10, 15 mil, and then obviously, because it's coilovers, um, You've got the beauty of being able to stiffen them up as well. So to stop the rubbing, you just stiffen it up so you get less biggity bounce. Biggity yeah, biggity. Mate, it's fucking nuts. It's, it's so wide. It looks amazing. Imagine what it's gonna look like with the front on as well. Oh. And I can't not put a big gay wing on it. <laughs> <laughs> We've had this discussion. I think the other one, the five works one you've got. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that on first. Better. Eventually, you know I'm going to go a big gay wing. You know it. The only thing we fucked up on is that is here. What we did was we followed the line of the bumper, and we shouldn't have. Basically, you can see it, Chris, as well. If you look here, yeah. You look at the gap, and then look how much it comes in there. You uh, look how close that is compared to here. Mm. So, and because we've pulled this in to marry up with the bumper, it's causing this to bow out here, right there. So if that was out of it, it would relieve the pressure off there. So we've dropped a bit of a bollock there. We're just trying to marry it out, because if you think about it, it's that that should marry up with the bumper. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we've pulled that too far into the to the rubber. Which is causing... 
so I don't really know what we can do to sort that out other than maybe just nut and bolting it, I don't know, bringing it out, I don't know, filling it maybe, we'll see, we'll fanny around with that. This one's not as bad to be fair, but this one will warp right all along the top's fine, like I say I've got a rubber strip that goes all along here, which will hide all that. It's just this bit where it kicks out, it's pulling it too close to here, so that needs to move out to about there, which is very annoying, but... Actually, I don't live and learn. Problem, you live and learn. I actually don't reckon it's going to be an issue then. I reckon what we need to do is because that one will have to be redone. Mm -hmm. So that in effect will move it that way. Yeah. Right. So that that hole will be covered. Yeah. That hole will be covered. Maybe. That one will be showing, yeah. but you would cut that part cut the of the bumper, bumper out anyway yeah, yeah, true. to get that line. So yeah. I reckon we can. We can sort Salvage that. It, yeah, we yeah, we'll be able to sort it. Because now you said just, that. We were just, it's, it's obvious. Pissing me off. It's now. obvious, isn't it? It's what we've me done. Off now. When you haven't got the wheel on, you don't notice. No. Because you don't realise that no, that's that right. gap there's shorter. That's, bug that's, that's, bug that. that's bugging me now. Yeah, we'll sort it out, mate. It's my car. We'll sort it out. The main thing for me, mate, is that the very expensive wheels look amazing. Fit fucking awesome. When you look at that and then you look at the wheelbarrow wheel on the front. Yeah, look, look at that. The original OEM wheel. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, they fit perfect. Just need to drop it a little bit. Yeah. Can you imagine it with the front ones on as well? Oh my days, she's going big. Oh, look at it from this side. Oh, it's even better. Does it? Look at that. Oh. Oh my God. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it looks nuts. sick. There we go. So that's stage two. Like I said, we've got a bit of titivating to do, haven't we? Where have you gone? Yeah, because that, that now Ben has brought that up. That yeah, we need really, to bring them that's bugging me bits now. on the bumper there out a bit. But yeah. but like we, we say, how we can't always, we make the mistakes. Exactly. You don't have to. And it's, this, but, is, this is a massive learning curve. Yeah. And ours, but and it can be sorted. To be fair to Ben, it's quite a expensive car for a learning curve. Oh, totally. To but I wanted to do it myself and we're not rushing it at all. Taking no. our times. Like we've always said, the beauty is it's not Ben's date, it's not your date. No, not at all. So we can, can sit here for sit months. Here and take months, months and months and months and months and it won't matter. The main thing for me is we can sort the little, this bit here out yeah. and pull that out. That's not an issue. The main thing was that the over fenders are wide enough to take an 11 inch wide wheel with those tyres on. Yeah. Because once wheels are uh, tyres are fitted to rims, you can't send a rim back. Yeah, so, so that was a huge... Huge gamble. Don't think they would look right on mine. Don't know they're like some sort of monster truck. <laughs> you poke it out well far. <laughs> but yeah, as far as fitment goes on the rears, I'm very, very happy with that. So we'll drop it a bit. But I'm going to spend a day down here anyway, and we fiddling around because we've got to cut out all the indicators in the rear, yeah. uh, in the front wings. Yeah. So we can fan around with that then, and uh, we're going to spend a good few hours once I've got the tyres. Uh, dialing in the suspension and stuff before it all goes to paint. So yeah, very happy. Desmond again. Desi boys sorted me out with the front tyres, but there's just none in the country at the minute. None. Zero. So we're having to wait about three weeks to get the front tyres on the rims. And then yeah, then we'll be fucking laughing. Then we can really start dialing her in. But oh my god! It looks ridiculous. Look at it. <whistles> Sexy, very happy. Can't get over a wide and fucking tires like that. You think that that's the edge of the tire there, but it's not. It goes carries on going to there. Amazing. <laughs> what a view. Thank you. <laughs> look at it. Look. Oh, what a view. Amazing. Love it. Well, boop, 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 boop. there we go. There we go. The arches are on, on. a big fat bum. Oh, it's got a massive bum. Yeah, yeah, we cocked up a bit on the uh, fenders on the rear, but yeah, we have. We'll sort it out. The main thing is that the arches are cut and welded and sealed, sealed and, and all that treated. Schmizzles. So that's like the messy part of it done. Yeah, but so. like Ben said, we're, he's probably going to spend or we, so I should say. Yeah, we're going to spend a good day, spend down, a day down, here. down here. We're probably not going to film that, are we? No, it'll just be a it's just chill gonna, day of... Yeah, just getting things all lined up better than yeah, what they are. Yeah, um, I think I'm more annoyed about it than what Ben is, to be fair. 
Yeah, but it can be sorted. It's not. It's just it's, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. It's annoying because you only get what you if you get one shot with yeah. those rivets, obviously, and there's just probably two. One of them will get away with because we can cut it out. Yeah, but the other one. The you ones in the body panels are the fuckers because they're in solid. Yeah, with the bumpers plastic, so they you quite easily pull them up. <laughs> Pardon me. But we'll get it sorted. We'll the get main it sorted, thing mate. for me, mate, we'll is that the fucking wheels fit. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. That's what I was worried but about. But as you guys all know, I didn't want to be like this with the back wheels. No, Do you know what I mean. Look like a fucking dick. As you guys know, we leave the mistakes and that in because nobody's perfect, as we definitely no, aren't. Exactly. But uh, yeah, we'll get and it sorted, mate. The whole point of documenting it always is. It's a diary of how we did it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. How we achieved yeah. it. And you and can't the, get it all right. There is a time. slight little deadline for Benjamin, isn't there? July eighteenth, the BHP. Yes. It's, it's going to be closer. It's going to be a bit of a push to get it ready for that. I, I think, think it is, mate. But uh, I really do think it is. Not well. There isn't, and it isn't because it's more financially. Yeah. And yeah. everybody in any trade at the minute seems to be busy as fuck, do not they? Like, <laughs> yeah. Super busy. Yeah. So, I don't know, we'll see if it is and it isn't. Simple as that, isn't it? Ben, well, you did say that even if it isn't painted, you're still going to take it, haven't you? I would, yeah. I'd take it <laughs> with flat wings on it. Flat wings on Still look with like some of that Mad Max. Yeah. yeah. So, there we go. But there's no rust in that bugger, I tell you, all that treatment that's gone on it. Yeah, not Ben's anymore. done everything. And the arches came out good as well. Mark Mark did a great job. Yes, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. For wearing all them up. And yeah, it's all prime, seam sealed. We'll leave that now. Well, it's probably sit here now for a week and probably won't be down here now for a little while. No, no, we've got plans next weekend, haven't we? Yes. Which is, hopefully, oh, yeah. this will be on I'm the... I'm going to put uh, it on Instagram anyway. Yeah. But yeah, Chris is stupidly... We're going go-karting next weekend. So we go would have already been by the time you see this video. Yeah. And uh, Chris stupidly put a bet on the, the loser. Between, there's 15 of us doing it, but... It's about me and Ben. It's about me and Chrissy. Basically. Obviously. So the loser has got to get the CCD knuckle duster tattooed on their arse cheek. That's going to be entertaining. It's so, uh, Chris, good luck with that, Chris. You're going to lose. Oh, I'm not going to lose, mate. But I'll um, put it all on Instagram. There is also anyway. another upcoming challenge, hopefully, there is. in the near future for the channel, yeah. which is going to be a tattoo on the other ass cheek of our choosing. So, obviously, yeah. if Ben loses, I get to choose. I'm forward to that one. But nothing can be, like, sexually... Nothing explicit or... Like a big penis or something rude like that. like that. It's just, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it Whatever out. Whatever it is going on Ben's ass, when he loses a challenge, which he will, it's going to be pink. We'll see. <laughs> but Anyways. It's going to be good. We'll so thank you to Fiberworks. Thank you to Danny and Dino Days for supporting the channel. Always a legend, Daniel. Capital Racing. All your discount codes are down below, as always. And that's another one in the bag. So. No, wait a minute. Oh, My little bit. Hell. If you don't follow us on Instagram, that is here. And Facebook is... Yeah. There we go. More editing for Ben. Thanks, mate. Love it. So, yeah, we love you all. We shall see you on the next video. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye bye.